Hey up, welcome to this week's vlog. This week you find me in this stunning location. I'm back in Snowdonia. I've returned to Wales just a week or so since I was last year. Uh, I'm here for a couple of days. Um, the forecast, it's well, it's, it's flat light and grey today, bright sunshine tomorrow, so a bit of a mixed bag. So where am I precisely? Well, I can't pronounce it. I always struggle with the Welsh pronunciations, being a, a dumb Yorkshireman. So I'll put it up here so you can, uh, you can work it out for yourself. Apologies to any Welsh viewers. Uh, so what have I got as a composition? Well, I'm spoilt for choice really. I've got this lovely lake, uh, a derelict fence leading into the water. There's a nice leading line. Uh, an old tree, a derelict building, and Snowdon in the background. Absolutely spoilt for choice. So uh, let me show you back at camera and show you what I'm getting. So as you can see, I'm at F11, which is a sweet spot on this lens. And I'm at ISO 64, which is the base ISO for this camera. Uh, it's a Nikon Z7. On the right hand side, I've got the fence, which makes a nice leading line, nice diagonal, and the shore line on the left hand side, getting a bit of reflection from the tree, and then that mountain in the background, that's Snowdon. So I'll take a couple of different exposures. Uh, I want a relatively fast one for the water. Um, I'm going to take a longer one with a, probably a, a six stop filter on as well, just to smooth it out. But um, although that gets rid of those ripples, it also, um, the, just in the foreground there, the actual the water's quite still, and unfortunately that'll. Uh, That'll take away some of that sharpness, so I'll take the two and probably blend them together. I'll also take a shot focused uh, back at the at the actual mountain, um, and I'll probably take a, a, a an under, slightly underexposed shot, something like that, um, just to try and get some texture in the cloud. A lot of that I can do in post post processing. Uh, I usually use camera raw for most of my processing, um, and you can you can drop in a sort of a, a, a graduated filter, um, but as it stands. That's, that's what I'm looking at. The only downside is uh, there's a lot of grass, a lot of weed in the water, which uh, kind of spoils the effect, but you've got to work with what you've got. It's looking looking quite good. I quite like the moody atmospheric clouds over the mountain. So I'll take a couple of shots, and if it's any good, I'll show you what it looks like.